Too many geology, too many geology. Hello, young people. Luss Hills, just south of Hooper, Washington. This is the Palouse, a series of rolling wheat fields, winter wheat. And the hills are made out of Luss silt, kitchen flour, wind-blown silt. Before the Ice Age, this is what eastern Washington looked like. All of eastern Washington, stretching from the Cascades clear over to the Rocky Mountains. Nothing but this, 250 feet of Luss on top of Columbia River basalt bedrock. But we've got big areas of eastern Washington that don't have these hills anymore. What happened? So here's one of many places that's exciting because the Luss Hills are gone. Luss Hill, graceful contour, boom, gone. We drop right down to the basalt floor and there's some remnants of Luss Hills there in the distance. The Ice Age floods came through here, took the Luss away. The high energy water picking the Luss Hills up easily. The water was probably brown with all this silt. And then the soil here was redeposited further downstream where the water slowed down. Most famously in the Willamette Valley of Western Oregon. Good agricultural down there because they got our soil. It used to be up here. And in the flood pass, we've got remnants of the Luss Hills that have been streamlined. Flood waters over the top and around the sides of those hills with these long graceful tails downstream. Those streamlined hills are aligned with the path of the flood water like salmon holding their position with their heads upstream as the water's coursing over them. Luss Hills, just south of Hooper, Washington. It's all out here to see. Coolies, rocks, and canyons is scenery. Right here for you and me. Two-minute geology.